This is 1602 liquid crystal display module, in short LCD1602. After watching this video, you will know some detail about this LCD and will be able to use this to your DIY project. The display consists of two rows of 16 characters each. The LCD1602 display has 16 solder pads that we can use in number of ways. We can solder a 16 pin mill headers or we can attach an I2C adapter directly to it. Let's see the pin function of each pin. The first pin is ground pin. On some modules, it is leveled VSS. The second pin, VDD. This is the 5 volt power connection. The third pin is brightness. This is the input for the brightness control voltage, which varies between 0 and 5 volt to control the display brightness. On some module, this pin is leveled as V0. The fourth pin RS, this is the register select pin. It controls whether the input data is meant to be displayed on the LCD or used as control character. The fifth pin RW, this pin puts the LCD in either read or write mode. In most cases, we will be using read mode, so this pin can be tied permanently to ground. The sixth pin EN, this is the enable pin, when high is read, the data applied to the data pins. When low, it executes the commands or displays the data. From pin 7 to 14 are data input pins. These all pins are denoted from D0 to D7. The 15th pin BLA is the anode connection to the backlight LED. And the last pin BLK, which is the pin 16, is the cathode connection to the backlight LED. Let's see the components we need for hooking up the LCD1602 to an Arduino Uno. We need Arduino Uno and LCD1602. Then we need a breadboard, one 10 kilo potentiometer to control brightness of the display, one 220 ohm resistor to drop the voltage for the display LCD backlight, and lastly we need some jumper wires for connecting. Now let's see the hardware connection. Take 5 volt and ground from Arduino and put it into the power rail of the breadboard. Place the LCD on the breadboard like this. Connect LCD RS pin to the Arduino Digital Pin 12. Then LCD Enable pin to Arduino Digital Pin 11. Then LCD Data Pin 4, I mean D4 to Arduino Digital Pin 5. LCD D5 pin to Arduino Digital Pin 4. LCD D6 pin to Arduino Digital Pin 3. LCD D4 pin to Arduino Digital Pin 2. Then LCD anode pin to 5 volt by a 220 ohm resistor. LCD cathode pin to ground. LCD read write pin to ground. LCD VSS pin to ground. LCD VDD pin to 5 volt. Place a 10K potentiometer on the breadboard and connect the ground pin with the ground and VCC pin with 5 volt. After that, take the output and connect it to the LCD brightness pin. After completing the connection, connect the Arduino with computer and open Arduino IDE. Click on the file menu at the top of the IDE. Click on example, a sub menu will open. Scroll down the sub menu to the example from custom library section. Select liquid crystal. We'll see a section of example sketches. Let's begin with classical example, hello world. After selecting hello world, the sketch start with a number of credit and description of the required hardware hookup. You will note that this is the same hookup we just performed on our Arduino and LCD module. In the beginning of the actual code, we load the liquid crystal library. We then initialize an object that we call LCD using the pin out of the LCD display. If we decide to hook up our display to the different pins, then we need to modify this section. In the setup routine, we initialize the LCD for 1602. If we are using different LCD module, we would change this accordingly. We also write hello world to our LCD in the setup. We do not specify the cursor location. This will print at the beginning of the first row. Now on to the loop. In the beginning of loop, we sent our cursor to the first position in the second row. Note that the row number start from 0. 
We then use the millis function to print out every second on the display. Let's end the loop. So we start back at the top of the loop and repeat. The result will be a counter on the second line that counts seconds from the time the Arduino was last reset. Upload the sketch to your Arduino and observe the display. If you don't see anything, try adjusting the brightness control that we wire to display. Thanks for watching this video. In the second part of the video, we'll see details about LCD1602 with I2C. Also, we'll discuss about the raw and column of LCD.